Guys, I'm back again. This is part three of the Nanopresso video reviews. The first one, I demonstrated the Nanopresso with a single basket. The next one, I did the barista kit, which I love to bits. And now today, we're doing the NS adapter, which is the Nespresso pod adapter um, that fits on the Nanopresso. Now, um, after I did the barista, video a company called bear and bear sent me a lovely email and basically said you mentioned in your video that you was thinking of doing the ns adapter review would you like us to supply you with one so i said yeah why not on the official website i think it's about 16 pounds which is probably i don't know 18 19 dollars on bear and bear it's 25 pounds but by the time you add the vat and import duty it's cheaper if you're in the uk to go and buy it from then I think it might be on Amazon as well. I'll put all the links in the descriptions, but check out Bear and Bear because they've got a really cool site and a load of awesome products. And um, apparently there's a lady in the office called Izzy and she absolutely adores Baxter. So um, at the end of this video, I've got about three minutes of footage of Baxter just being an absolute menace in the woods. So uh, you, hopefully you'll enjoy watching that. The adapter arrived over a week ago, I've been trying out Starbucks Columbia Exp Espresso, Cafe Pod Intense, uh, these ones, which I like. Some dark roast Starbucks Espresso as well. So I've been through quite a lot there, as you can see. Now, I've been using it exclusively, and the reason for that is I thought I'd treat myself. So I went and bought some really, really nice beans from Square Mile in London. It's got flavors of white chocolate, butterscotch, and macadamia. If you look at the date at the bottom, they're exactly a week old today. So I thought while I'm waiting, I'll use the NS adapter. And then on the seventh day, as God foretold, there would be, I don't know, I haven't read the Bible to be honest. <laughs> So I thought, before we jump into reviewing this, we'll open this together and we'll make a double shot with the barista kit and uh, see what this tastes like, hey? Now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take the little rubber out of the port filter to make it a non-pressurized head because that's how I've been using this for the last month. Uh, what that allows you to do is get a slightly finer grind on your coffee and it takes away all the bubbles and the froth that you would get on the crema if you've got the pressurized port filter. So I'll just show you how to do that. It's really simple. You just pop this bit out here and uh, you just unscrew it. Yeah, you've got a little spring in there and on that spring is a little rubber. And if you just pull that out and reassemble it like that, then you're just going to have less bubbles and less froth. Simple as that. Let's make it coffee. Oh. Cheers guys. Ooh, that is a taste sensation. And that temperature, usually I can get it just right at around 70 degrees after the extraction, but where I was mucking around a little bit with the camera and it just lost a little bit of temperature, but it's still a good temperature. But guys, I'm telling you, that's as good as it's gonna get. Have you ever got goosebumps from drinking an espresso? Because I think I just did. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had a coffee good enough to get goosebumps from. Right guys, let's get back on track, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna quickly just unbox the NS adapter for you so you can see the individual components and then we're gonna jump to the uh, footage that I took a couple of days ago in the woods with Baxter uh, and I'll sh demonstrate it out in nature, okay? So this is the box guys, inside you 
get drawstring carry case, little brush there to give it a clean because you want to try and avoid the um, blades. You've got blades in there, you cut your fingers on, so clean it with that. And an instruction manual. So you've got the NS porter filter, uh, so that sort of pops out to be cleaned. You've got this component that pierces the pod, and then you've got this ring, and that just fits over like that. So you take the rooster kit off if you've got one if you haven't go buy one because they're amazing and then this just drops over screws on like that pod goes in and the top goes on so there you go guys now let's get outside shall we I know you enjoyed the last outdoors video I did when I was testing out the Brista kit. So I've come back to the woods and this time we're going to look at the NS adapter. And uh, what I've got with me is my small packable hammock. If I can find trees the right distance apart, I'll be able to enjoy my coffee in a nice comfortable seat. Right, so this is what I've brought today with me guys. Brought my cook set, which you've seen already. I brought a nice espresso glass. Now, normally I wouldn't bring this along, but it's so that you can have a closer look at the uh, extraction. And then, lastly, I've got the Nano Presso here in its case, but with the NS adapter. And the way I've managed that is it's a real tight fit, but if you take the cup off the bottom of the water tank, then you can just fit this in. And this was a tip that I got from um, someone on YouTube. I'll put their name here, just to give them a bit of thanks. But you can see that, look, without the cup, it goes in perfectly. So we've got no cup on the bottom, the small water tank, which is all you need for the NS adapter. In there, you've got the cutter, that's gonna pierce the end of the Nespresso capsule and the NS adapter porter filter that screws on the top. Okay guys, the setup of this thing couldn't be easier. All you gotta do is unscrew the lid and just drop that in like that and screw it back on. From an espresso pod, that's as good as you're going to get, it really is. Now I've bought another two, and I've got enough water for another two. And it's pretty comfortable here, even though it's only about two degrees. So I think I'm going to have another one. There was a really good creme on that, guys. Now we've had that coffee, what we're left with is the pod in the top there. I mean, there's a few tiny little grinds in there, but it's nothing. So I'd say that's pretty much ready to go again. The ease of use is brilliant. Now I'm really in love with the Barista kit. 
and even though I always carry super lightweight gear whenever I'm on a hiking trip um, I always take one or two luxury items and to be honest I love the Barista kit so much that I would probably be taking that and the Hario Mill because the two combined just gives coffee shop quality espresso now this is going to give you an espresso quality espressos and if you're happy with that bring this along it's a lot easier to not have to muck around with a basket but to be honest I'm so used to grinding my own beans I probably would take that route as opposed to this then again if it's a super long hike and I'm with friends and I really don't want to be grinding fresh beans for all my mates as well as me then I'd probably just bring this along instead you know <laughs> So this time round guys, what I'm going to do is turn this one into a black Americano. Here we go. Bought myself a little treat as well. These toffee waffles. They say if you put it on the top of the cup, the heat from the coffee melts the toffee. So there you go guys, that's another outdoor video. I had quite a few comments saying that you enjoyed my last one. So there's another one for you. Uh, as for the NS adapter, it just makes the Nano Presso even better. You've got the single shot, you've got the Barista kit, which is my favorite, and now you've got the NS adapter. I'm gonna do one more video, which is gonna be a tips and tricks and troubleshooting video. So look out for that, maybe in three or four weeks time. But guys thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed it leave me a thumbs up and a comment below have a great day have a great life cheers Now chasing squirrels is one thing, but don't chase baby deer. Don't chase deer, man. Look at you, spit all over your face. Go on. Oh, oh. Oh. Get off. Dude. Man. <sighs> Not cool, Bex. Not cool. Oh. Oi. I'm telling no. You do not get up. No. Bex! Get off! Dude! No! Oh. Sometimes I wonder why I bring you with me. He just scratched me right in the face. Oi, I don't want you up. Oh man. Oi. Back. Are you serious? That's the camera!
Oh, you. Max, don't eat the wood. I'm probably not going to include this in the video, but just wanted to share with you something that I've learned over the years coming to the woods. If you can switch off your thinking mind and just be in the present moment, you know, like a meditation almost, and you just sit down, you sit quietly, and you just listen, there are thousands of noises, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of noises, and they all get their little space in your head, and if you stay like that for long enough, I mean, you feel so joyful, uh, you, it, it, you, I can't put it into words, I don't think there's a feeling better, I mean, you could win the lottery, and uh, still not feel any more content than spending a certain amount of time in the present. Now, if you can do that while you're drinking coffee, the coffee will never taste better, trust me, because so many people are unconscious in their day-to-day -day life, so what that basically means is they're drinking coffee, but they're thinking about what they've got to do for work, and you just really don't appreciate the flavor or the taste or the smell or any of it, because you're lost in, in another thought. If you make yourself a nice coffee, just spend a moment and just take a few breaths, clear your mind of any fault or any concern, and then just drink that coffee and it will never taste as good. So that's my life tip for you, for getting the best out of your coffee. Like I say, I probably cut that out because it might sound a little bit too hippified.